Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're in Watch Roof Realm and we're going to have a complete beginner guide on Gear Raid 2 since this one is pretty much tough raid, especially for us as a free player. And I'm going to give you a complete guide up to stage 9 since this is the highest stage I'm in without any legendary or any exclusive heroes or anything. I'm just gonna be using 100% heroes that you are actually having. So let's just start it. So let's go to the raid, gear raid two, and then gear raid two. The great items that you need to be working on, trying to be gathering in the start, once you're able to, going to be this item here. We're starting with the, uh, the fatality, especially because it's a great item for the uh, DPS heroes, especially because it increased their attack by 3% and it's going to be ignoring 12% of the, de uh, the target defense, either if it's a physical defense or a magic defense. So it's a great way to be increasing the damage of your DPS. And then for the next item, going to be the curse. The curse increased the damage by 6% for up to 5 stacks for every enemy within the attack range. So this is also a great set for the AOE damage dealer, marksman, and the mage mainly. And then we have the next one going to be the night terror. This one, it increased the damage by 25% for 3 seconds after making a crit hit. It's not really that special here, but... It's a great addition, especially if you're focusing on increasing the crit of one of the heroes. And then we have in the last one going to be the Glacier. This one is a, such a great item, especially for the tanker, as it will be increasing the attack bonus depending or equal to 6% of the max HP when deployed. So it's a great item for the tank to be giving them some extra attack by just focusing on increasing their HP. So this is one of the great set to be actually focusing on getting in the early stage. And then we have in the end game going to be the age as uh, the ageless wrath and the last one going to be the in uh, invigoration random part. So let's go in. Like I said, we're going for stage nine. First, before we get in, let's check out how the map is like or how the platform. Let's go to the guide, map info. So we're starting with from stage 1 to stage 5. We're going to have only one portal to be defending. So it's a, it's not really that hard. You can be using the same heroes I'm going to be using in today's video. From stage 1 to stage 5, it's no issue. And then when we're going from stage 6 to stage 9, going to be this platform. We're going to be having two portals to be defending. And most of the time you're going to be having they are starting with the left side so i'm going to be showing you today everything around this one the positioning of heroes which type of heroes you need to be using and everything like that and we have in three different type of heroes we have in the the boss here comes after a few seconds and then we have in the golden guard this is the one that is rolling or running straight when reaching you it will be doing a massive damage so let's just get in and see exactly the heroes i'm going to be using let's go fight so like i said i'm not going to be using any legendaries or anything i'm just going to be removing this one and then i put this one here so this is the heroes i'm going to be using for this raid we're going to need at least two heroes it's great if you have any aoe healers especially because you're going to need every single healer to be healing the defender as it will be a great amount of damage they will be getting but for now i only have camille as well as holo i hope later on i can be getting any of the aoe healers but for now i'm having this one and it's the same time we're having every single one of them so let's start okay so we're in the first line we're going to be getting going to be starting with the left side the first here we're going to be putting going to be the defender to be defending this one and straight after that we go with the healer to be healing this one to be making sure this tank will be surviving and then it just to be waiting and now the boss will be doing a three time earthquake to be dealing massive damage to all heroes with no exclusive when you want him to be deploying any more heroes and the boss having this attack it just it's great to be better waiting till this attack is done to be able to actually get it without any uh, damage on these heroes 
So now we're having the tanker in the front. Let's add some extra attack since we need to be getting this one done. All right, now let's. After this wave, we're gonna be getting the healer. So now we're having Holo to be healing the complete platform. She's a single target healer. She's not really the best in this option. Like single target he uh, healer, not really a good choice. But if you don't have other options, then it's just to go for it. It's better than not having any healers at all. And if you're having any AOE healers, it's more than great, especially because as you can see, we're having the defenders are getting massive damage. And now when the boss comes, it just be going all in with everything you got. And it's, I didn't even deploy many of the heroes I'm just using with the healers and the defender. It's only two actually that is dealing damage, the rest healer and defender. So this is exactly the positioning for the heroes. We're starting with the right side. We're going to be having the uh, defender first. After that, we go straight with the healers. I'm going to go again with a slow time to be able to explain everything. We're starting with a, with the defender. We're going for uh, Mil uh, Mirail. She's a good tank in start. After that, we can be waiting. Either we can be deploying a, heal a healer to be making sure she will be surviving, or we can be deploying Ayn to be doing some type of damage from the back to be making sure this one gonna be dying fast. And straight after that, let's speed it up. Straight after that, let's deploy the healers. From here, I'm gonna actually deploy uh, Holo to be covering this area, to be covering as well as Mirail. Straight after that we wait till the earth shake from the boss. After that we can be deploying the tank on the other side to be defending this one. After that we're going for uh, Mary to be having some type of slow to the, uh, the monsters when they come. Kind of to be helping out with making uh, the tanker taking less damage or surviving a bit more. After the third one, we're going to be deploying uh, the healer. Well, unfortunately, it uh, well it have I was laking of damage, so let's just rest it. We're gonna be following the same strategy, Mirail. But this time, we're gonna be taking it in a different way. We're going to deploy the Holo on the other side to be covering both of them. After that, I'm gonna be going with a uh, damage dealer. Let's go for. Full toss, since his, with his basic attack he can be attacking multiple targets at the same time. And the magic damage in this one is really such a great thing. It's just massively great. After that let's deploy the tank. So now we have both of them covered. Let's get Ayn in the back to be having some type of uh, damage along with Mirail to be making things faster. Now we can deploy... Uh, Bryna, wait for the third. All right, now I can deploy the healer on the other side. So now I'm having uh, Bryna and the tanker and the damage dealer in the middle, getting heal from both sides from the both healers, so that we're making sure they are going to survive any type of damage. Now let's use the ultimate of holo to make sure they're going to be surviving. After that we can be just going all the way in to kill the boss. He don't have really much of defense, so it's just to be once he's released, boom, he will be just getting absorbed completely. And we just get it done easily, just like that, and we can be farming legendary gears. This is the strategy I'm using. You can be trying out with the heroes you got. It will be helping you to be finding the way how to be doing it with the option of heroes you have since I can't do it for you. But it just, I'm giving you the idea about it. I'm working more to be trying to hopefully get more of the recommended heroes, especially I need one or two of the, uh, at least one of the AoE healer. And then it's going to be better for the chance of clearing stage 10 and higher at least till stage 12 since 
from 10 to 12 they have in the same platform it's two of the portals and then we have an, an island in the middle so we're gonna be having much fun to be trying to fix this one once i'm having another heal, uh, healer but still i'm gonna be actually giving more time to try out build more heroes i'm still having more options to be working around the heroes as i have more heroes to be working on like if we go to the heroes here i know i'm having more options i can be using uh, isoldi to be having more tank and i can be working on wrath I can get as well Livian, she's a great tank, but for now I'm just waiting for some event till I'm able to actually get extra use for the material I'm going to be using them, like if we go to the event, the Oracle Trials, tomorrow I'm actually going to have an event for the hero training to be upgrading and getting some extra items by just upgrading, this is such a great way for me or for all of us as a free player to be able to get extra items for the use of just just using the material or the resources we're having so yeah that's all guys for the complete guide on stage 9 for gear rate 2 and it's 100 percent free to play friendly you will be doing it with no issue easily just to be trying out to be adjusting the positioning of the heroes depending on which heroes you have how to be working around it just a test and you will be able to find your way with the heroes you got make sure guys to be liking the video subscribe to the channel write to me in the comments if you're having any other thoughts any other ideas i'll be more than happy to hear your opinions your thoughts and if you need any help make sure to be as well reaching out for me and i'm happily can be helping you out that's all for this video guys see you all with another video till then take care and enjoy your game